Good morning, it's Hazel Chavez, it's Art Online, and today we're going to do a simple end of the day sky study. So this is the image that we're going to be working I've on. I've torn my paper in half, so we're just going to be doing a half sheet today. So I like to start with just a couple of quick studies, maybe a pencil study, an ink study, and a little color study, so that I know where I'm going to The very go. first thing that I want to capture and what drew me to this painting is this beautiful line of color right here. I brush into the water and I load it up with yellow, number 43, and I'm just going to paint a line all the way across my page and I've already decided that I want rough edges so I just paint like this across and then I'm going to get a little bit of red number 30 just a tiny bit not too too much and I'm going to stroke a little bit in at the bottom and a little bit at the top. And then I'm going to get clean water. Just dip my brush in the water. And I'm going to pull this color up because I want a nice luminous sky. And I gently stroke the brush back and forth. More water. more water again so after I've got a couple of layers of really watery red I paint in some lavender at the top then with that paint still on my brush a little bit more water I'm going to put in the water down below just keeping it nice and loose very pale very watery very liquid and wet And I'll put in that lovely little pool of water. And maybe just the suggestion of the pebbles down in the lower left hand corner. So you can see how the paint is glistening. It's much too wet. So I'm going to have to leave it for about 10, 15 minutes to dry. And then we'll come back in and we'll put the sand in. I'm going to mix up a sand color, which will be a little bit of my lavender 61 and my burnt sienna. And that's 46. And I'm just going to lightly brush in some of the dark sand area. Maybe this needs just a tiny bit more burnt sienna in the mix but I want to keep this pretty pale. So everything that's going in is pale and watery and loose. And I like to leave a little bit of white space sometimes on the page. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to my mix. So now we're going to do this beautiful wing of color just over here. Brush it in across the page. Okay, I think I'm going to put just a tiny touch more lavender into mine. And I just stroke this color all the way across. So I'm just stroking my lavender in very gently across my sky. And I'm going to put in a little bit at the top, just a couple of broken wisps of cloud. And a little bit at the very top too. So I'm doing a broken stroke and I'm putting lavender in at the top and not too much, keeping it nice and light, leaving a little bit of the paper showing through beneath. With this ready lavender color still on my brush, 
I'm going to put in just a little bit of reflection in on the water. So just a little bit and then I'm going to have to leave it to dry. So everything is dry now, so we can put in the headland over here. So I'm bringing my tree groups all the way over. Making them a little bit taller at the side. And then I'm going to just bring them down here just a little. I also want to put in this thin peninsula of land and some suggestion of the wet sand over here. Just bring down the land mass to meet that. Then I dip my brush into the water to lighten the paint on my brush, knock it off on paper towel, and I'll just go back into here to suggest that wet sand. And a little bit more in the very corner where I have my pebbles in the water. Just some light flicks like this. I'm going to add just a little bit more shadow with my lavender and then our painting will be done. Just a tiny bit up over here. And we're done. Well, maybe not quite done because I think I'm just going to add a setting sun disappearing over the horizon over here with my red. like so, and a tiny bit more reflection in the water. But now we're done. Last strokes of the day. So the sky is a wonderful thing to paint because it's always with us. And I hope you will enjoy this video and I hope it'll encourage you to paint a, a ton of sky studies yourself. And I can't wait to see what you do. Thank you.